Hello, Mito. Got a bit of a flat, flat battery, so I'll be quick. And it's pretty dark in here. I don't have the lighting situation sorted. This is my shed <laughs> garage. And oh, this ugly carpet. I haven't done anything in here for basically three years. Um, I had to clean it out and everything. But I thought I'd share a tip. Now, I, I just need to bolt it to the, the um, frame so it's not leaning forward especially as I load it up. This is a bed uh, frame. This is from a double bed. Um, and basically I had ripped off all the, the cladding and this is the, the empty frame. Now it's leaning a little bit, so I might just even put something because the ground's not level. Door stoppers, so a door stopper on each side just to have it, yeah. I've got a couple of door stops inside. So anyway, so this is kind of perfect. It's almost like two pallets and I'm using it basically to hold long handled tools. So big crowbar, rakes, you know, lawn rake, plastic rake. My other steel rake is, is over where the duck run is. One of my spades, I've got a few spades. So they all go in here. So if you come across an empty mattress, uh, bottom mattress so you know you've got your top mattress and you've got your under mattress or underlay mattress um, salvage it rip off the cladding and you can use it as an epic long handled tool storage um, I just uh, this is for my fruit picking berry picking the net it's like a um, basketball catches me I just need to put a get a dowel for the, the handle I do have the um, the ring grip once you put it onto a dowel. But my big sledgehammer. I need to take this freaking thing off that was here before. Basically I've got rats or rodents coming in through the gap at the top here and using this. Look at the rat ship. Ugh. And I do bait in here. And I've still got an issue with fucking rodents. Um, they eat the, the fruit from the plum tree behind and they bring there's all these um, plum husks from the seeds. Um, so I, I'm aiming to rip off all this carpet and do a freaking good sterilization of the floor. But cleaning it, I've still got boxes from when I moved in two years ago, not even opened. <laughs> Shit. That's how crazy my life gets. But with this thing, I'm aiming to also um, take off some of the furniture staples. Um, sand it down and then give it a paint with some waterproof paint to make it last. It's nice and heavy, it weighs about 15 20 kilos, more 20 kilos, probably 18.5, something like that. When you lift weights, you even though I don't do weights much anymore, um, you tend to know your weights by picking things up. <laughs> Decades of lifting, you start to know. Um, so, yeah, I've just got to do that, sand it down, give it a paint. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to, to get on top of my, my shed situation. This is an old, um, table and it's so heavy and sturdy. It's about 20 kilos, this, this steel frame. As you can see, you've got your metal going across. I'm actually going to make a bench top out of it so I can put a clamp to saw things or what have you. It's just such a handy table. Um, I do have another shelf like this in the den, I'm using it to hold books. When I get a shelf for those books, I'll bring that in and then I'll have a, another two of these. Um, but I'm really keen to start working in the shed with things, uh, building things and, uh, you know, I mean, when you have animals, and I just think life in general, you have animals and uh, especially if you're caught you're building things all the time, be it raised garden beds, um, ornaments or what have you. It's been nice to have a working area. And you know, look, uh, obviously I'm a woman. Um, I'm going to muck out and clean out this one today. They'll be very happy. Um, you know, as a, a woman too, I, I get irritated when you get someone out to do something. And they do a shit job and they charge you an arm and a leg and then you have to put up with all the other bullshit and how they talk to you and everything it's like oh fuck you mate <laughs> I've done erecting timber structures I'm qualified to do that um, I just need the tools 
you know, and set up. So, yeah, it's um, if anyone wants to know, um, is there anything you can do qualification wise and study wise to learn how to use drills and hammers and build things with wood, you won't be a you know top notch carpenter at, at, by any means, but you'll be able to do things like build planter beds, structures, greenhouses, deckings. Um, you know roofing that sort of thing uh, basically erecting timber structures is actually a course um, elective in Australia Victoria and it's usually encompassed in courses uh, certifications that also do other things so I did horticulture one two and three and then horticultural resource management I did it through a private college but I did do my hort three through Fed Uni and Horticulture 3 last year had erecting timber structures in it. So if you have a look on your course curriculums, um, just look for erecting timber structures in Victoria and you will be basically given the opportunity to experience using power tools, how to use them, safety, health and safety is crucial. Um, you know and learning about grades of wood that you work with um, to use the appropriate wood for appropriate things um, what the markings and that mean on the the two by well shouldn't really call them two by fours my teacher would tell me off um, you know different strips of wood that you use hey puppies um, so yeah erecting timber structures uh, structures I recommend anyone do it I mean I'm disabled um, <laughs> I did it <laughs> Um, I'm a woman, I did it. Um, I think these days as well, there's a lot of dodgy shit around and if you can do something yourself, I do think it's worth uh, doing the erecting timber structures. Uh, oh, sorry puppies, elective in, in a course. I'm pretty sure, sorry puppies, that was me walking on the 